everyone, welcome to another video for me, Mally, and my channel, Mally Davis Photography. So today we're in a place in the Lake District, of course. I've got to, got to keep coming back now. Uh, just the feeling driving in is elation and inspiration and all those words with Sean. It just fills you with joy and all your troubles wash away. But if my advice to anyone watching this, don't come because you won't like it. It's harsh light all the time. And it's just, you know, there's too many people um, with pitchforks. It's dangerous, really. Where I kind of come, I'm joking, I'm joking. Just stay away, leave it for me. Me and my mate Mikey. By the way, head over to Instagram and give Mikey some love, will ya? So what we're we doing? We're going looking and hunting for special kind of trees. Well, we're surrounded by them, but it's harsh, very harsh. It's gonna be a long day uh, finding compositions and more of a scout this, but no doubt I'll get some shots. I've just seen one there now with a ghostly white tree. Quite nice. Anyway, I, I, I digress. I'll leave you to it. Go and get yourself a cup of tea and come back, you can pause it. And now you're back with your cup of tea. Let's go. Everyone, of course, is welcome in the Lake District and everyone is made to feel welcome. But of late, it's getting a bit of a joke with people not understanding how to treat nature and how to behave once you're in a place such as this. You know, it's, it's sad. But I'm not gonna go on about that today because I think we're in a place, we're in a place here. Famous last words. As you can see, there's no one. And it's an unusual place because of the amount of oak trees. We're really, really hoping for cloud, but it's very harsh again, very harsh. So I do apologize, but the conditions are what they are when I come out, there's nothing I can do. So there's a lesson here and that's embrace it and just feed off the light, either with silhouettes or details or side lights or all these twisting and gnarly branches of the oak trees can provide something that is quite visually impactful. What do you think of the hat anyway? <laughs> Answers down below. Hat, yeah or nay, it keeps sun off bonds. It's not good, is it? Wife said it's not good. She's normally right. Oh, but there's some good news. Got me van. Well, I've not got me van, but I can get me van. Unless you want to donate one, just go to my website, mallyphotography.co.uk. Send me a message with your free camper vans. Any welcome. As long as they move more than 90 miles every week. I'm serious, I really, really can't wait because on days like today, when we arrived here at around about, ooh, just after six, coming up to seven, there was a lot of mist and a lot of claw cloud around Thilmy and it looked incredible. And we had to miss it all. And, well, I, I, I had to miss it, it's my fault. I can't get up in the morning, I'm shocking. Three o'clock in the morning's not good. Because I'm that excited, I can't get sleep. So I'm up all night. I've had about three hours kip. I turned out at quarter past five. So today, half past five, my video goes out. But this is in the future, which you won't see. <laughs> <laughs> half past five, half past five, three months ago. <laughs> when was that now? No, I'm catching up. It was, uh, was it April last? Two weeks. Oh, I'm not doing bad then. Well, two it two weeks. Out before Christmas, though. It did. It did indeed. Rither Braffy, and then we went to Thirlme. No, no, that's not that video. No, that's another one. So they've still we've. So I'll, I'll I'll tell you now what's going on with videos. 
I don't like doing them straight away. And there's a reason for that. I like sitting on them, I like having them in my mind and thinking about the day. Because what happens is you paint a different picture and then when you get to the video, you've got this kind of a concept or idea or what the day was like. And it makes editing easier, but not just that. The photographs, I don't like jumping straight into the photography because I find that the best images, uh, I, might, I might not pick certain images where if I leave it and give them time and I come to edit them, I'll, I'll, I'll enjoy it more, get the best out of those images, if that makes sense. So this is being recorded now on the 1st of May and will no doubt go out on the 1st of June. <laughs> I don't know, it might even be longer than that because I've got a really, really, well, no, you'll have watched it. You'll have watched it now. You'll have seen me Thomas Eaton podcast. And also you probably would have seen, um, who else? Black Crag, yes. Darren J. Spoonley, Stuart Graham. You might have seen all them by now. And we've got two guests this week coming that I'm interviewing. Ah, oh, a wonderful photographers, but I'm not telling you who they are. Right, let's, let's, let's enjoy this. Let's, I'm not gonna come back to you now for probably an hour. I'm just gonna chill. We're, we're here all day. <sighs> Absolutely glorious day. Too glorious. I'm not even sure if this is gonna be a, a, a vlog. Why? Because just so chilled. Woodpecker. Thanks, good timing. Got him on the payroll. Feed him nuts. My nuts! <laughs> hey, shh, listen, listen. Got it. Mikey's got eyes like a shithouse rat, if you can see that. I tell you what. Can you see it? It's not far. Just up beyond these. Wonderful this, wonderful. But we we ain't getting the cloud and we ain't getting uh, any drop in this light yet. It's very harsh keeping the hat on, so I will brun me, me head. Brun, burn. Right, well, I'm actually all right, I'm not panting. <laughs> I'm getting the fitness is building, although it was steep, it weren't very, it's not very tall. We're going up to that little hump there in a bit, but we've, we've stumbled across some lovely sliced crags, foreground, and then a load of big boys. What a view, what a view. And the clouds building, so hopefully we might get a bit of it just going in front of the sun. So just take it down a notch or two, and then get this shot. I'm gonna try a wide angle shot with these, these rocks. These split rocks, look at that, with the shapes in them darting off in different directions and then huge range. I, I'm not sure, it's gonna be very disjointed with, with really getting into talking about Alfred Wainwright and rightly so. Uh, my nephew has given me uh, his books to look through. We're talking about the ink sketches and his life and how much dedication and devotion he give to, he basically gave his life to these fells. It gave him a lot back, don't get me wrong, but it also took a lot away from him that we all take for granted. Normal life, you know, relationships and, and having a family. Um, this was his family. And the amount of dedication he gave to documenting all the journeys and fells that he did. He's, there's no words really. I will never ever, I know you should never say never, 
do all the Wayne rights because it's, it's not in my interest. It's, I'm so I'm terrified of heights, as you know. So there's some of them are probably unachievable for me. Then again, there are different routes, but it's not something I want to do. This, on the other hand, sitting here and watching the clouds come in and seeing, you know, Great Gable and just, there's no words really to think I've walked up that valley. We were saying then about on the edge here, there's a little tree sticking out and that little tree, we was right round the corner of the other, the other end heading up to Sprinkling Town when there was an inversion and that's the tree what's in the image. I'll pop it up now while uh, we keep talking. And as you can see, we're looking down the valley towards me now. We're now we're looking back up towards that valley. And uh, Scarfell, he's just unmistakable. Even for me, I knew that was Scarfell, but I have struggled with what the fells are because you've really got to spend time and graft and hard work and learn them, learn them like your 10 times table. Yeah, that, that's how stupid I am. <laughs> Fives, tens and elevens I'm all right with. Oh, I'm joking. I was teaching little and eights timetable before, you know. God help that kid. God help her. Look, look. Lots of blue, but there's still some cloud building. And we pan round. And it's changing. So with a bit of luck, this big plume of cloud here will cover up that big ball of fire and we can crack on and get some decent, uh, decent light, decent shots down on this valley. But for now, wide angle, then telephoto and up a bit higher. Right, come on. Wow, it's completely transformed from this morning and we were saying it and we're getting some just subtle light on the fells. I'll spin you around in a minute. The view you're looking at there towards King's Howe, Castle Crag, and then right in the distance, you've got Helvellyn dropping down where we was a couple of weeks ago at Harrop, just over the top of there in the other Blee Tarn. Following it round, you can just see Blencathra getting light and skidders. Ah, wonderful. Wonderful views, and I, again, I've not seen a soul here, which is great. There's no trees up here though, really. There's a few dotted around there in the woods we came through. It's very sparse, but Mike, he's gone over yonder with your gables and Scarfell. Just look at that light. So we're getting quite heavy cloud now and, it, and the temperature's dropped. If you look straight across there, you've got Honister Slate Mine before you drop down towards bottom here. Look, great to see the road going up. And we're at the same height, which has surprised me actually because this wasn't that hard of a pull to get up here. Um, yeah, we took our time. I think we've stopped quite a bit because there's so much to shoot. Even with that harsh light, we was getting to some scenes. I hope so. You'll find out. Stick around at the end if I've got anything today. I did just get a shot of Skidor where it was black and a, a 16 by 9. Um, it's still black now. Can you see that? Oh, it's just so minimalist. But with these big clouds. Ah! Oh, <laughs> this is lakes. This is what I love. And I've not had to get up high. Just perfect, just perfect day. Gate shutters. Ooh. Look at these. Birch. Life's a birch. Beautiful trees there. Yes, finally, yes, trees. No harsh light. 
and some beautiful colours showing on the birch. Where we was on top of <laughs> that rock, we could see across to King's How. Look at this. It feels Jurassic. -y. Oh, wow. Jaggedy rock, birch at side. Yeah. Is that it? No. Oh. <laughs> if you wonder what we're talking about, we were saying there's a famous birch down here that lots of photographers have took. I don't know, I've never seen it. I will do when I see it, no doubt. I think I spoke too soon about harsh light. It isn't the end for me, but it's the end for you. I'm running out of battery power. Charged uh, the mics up once, but my dulcet tones shall go away for another day. Thank you so much for watching. There's a lot of shots and I hope you enjoy them and well, there's only one thing left to say. No, there's not. There's not. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, or hit the notification bell, and you'll get notified when I put another video out. So, there's only one thing left to say, and that's... See there!